G'day. Just going to do a short video explaining a couple of issues people run into, mainly with aluminium radiators, water to air intercoolers, etc. Anything with an aluminium core. Basically, this car had an issue where the tank, or sorry, the tube itself, it split internally um, in the plenum. Um, this this car, that's basically the cooler inside. My, most people will blame the manufacturer, the supplier, or the installer. Um, the fact of the matter is, the problem comes from electrolysis, which is basically caused by the water being electronic charged. In this case, uh, with the multimeter, you can simply just put it on the ground and then stick the other end into the water and check the voltage. And this car's got 0.3 of a volt. Um, well, actually, 0.5 when we started, but once everything had warmed up, it was 0.3. That's enough to basically cause a electrolysis in the system and pretty much eat all the aluminium out, um, causing issues. So not many people know this sort of stuff and as you can see in this case, we've glued basically an anode. Uh, anode, I, I can't really say properly, it's a bit of a tongue twister, but we've glued that to the cap. It's basically a magnesium rod um, and that allows somewhere for the electrolysis to go. Um, you can just purchase it from any sort of plumbing supply. Um, or even a boat shop, but this is basically what it is. Um, yeah, um, comes as a big rod, which is that's the size. You just pretty much hacksaw it off and, and drop it in the system. Um, we thought it'd be a good idea just to glue it to the cap itself, so it comes in and out as you like, and at least that way it doesn't go blocking up any outlets on the system. Um, yeah, just a short little tech video. Hopefully this helps people who get in the shit loaded down the track. Um, yeah, beautiful. Thanks for watching.